Welcome back to my channel everyone. I finished my design team project for Ephemera's Vintage Garden and I wanted to share what I made with you. Uh, this is the cover of the uh, journal. It is um, six inches by nine and a quarter and the spine is about an inch and a half and I covered it with this beautiful fabric and I added a little uh, let's see how I can do this um, I don't know what you call it, but anyways, I found these gorgeous leaves and I thought that they would be appropriate for this journal. And uh, the kit that I used was called Familiar Trees 1 and 2. And the closure is a, a dyed seam binding. I used, uh, let's see, Vintage Photo uh, Distress Oxide Spray and I don't, you can't see it real good on the, with the camera, but it matches beautifully with this fabric. And you just have to hook this little loop over the Tim Holtz hitch post to close it. And on the cover I put a, a label frame with the trees it says in it cut out from the paper collection and I used some die cuts and a little tag here that I stuck the hitch post in and some leaves and then this piece from the from the uh, paper collection I printed on uh, tracing paper and you can see the the um, book page through through the tracing paper so let's open it up and see what's inside oh I also added um, metal corners and this uh, crocheted lace on the spine so we'll open it up and inside I have a lace crocheted lace pocket with an envelope inside and I uh, found this paper that I used in the inside of the front and back covers uh, from a uh, paper stack that I had and I thought that was appropriate and then inside this envelope are all kinds of uh, die cuts that I didn't use in the book and I thought I would put them in for whoever gets the book to use as they wish and the first page is one of the pages from the kit and I made a pocket here with a collage and this is one of the tags from the kit just gorgeous and on the back is just plain for journaling there's a lot of journaling sp space in this book I like to have a lot of journaling space in my journals and so this 
page I used uh, a wood grain stencil that I have. Um, as I said, the paper collection is um, trees, familiar trees one and two, and I just thought this was uh, perfect. And then here's another little collage that I made with a die cut, and um, this is a label that I had in my stash. And then some more stenciling, and then here's a ledger paper. And this is from a French dictionary with an image of a tree. And then here's another page from the uh, paper collection. And then this is also I printed on the back side um, with some more of the paper collection. Gorgeous echo dyed prints. And then here's another uh, collage that I made. Um, added the word sunshine. And, and I also found several uh, tree quotes that I used. This one says the heart of the tree. What does he plant who plants a tree? He plants the friend of sun and sky. He plants the flag of breezes free the shaft of beauty towering high. This is Henry C. Bunner. Um, that's a quote from him. And then here's a little die cut leaf. And then I found some gorgeous pictures of woods um, in a book that I had. So I added that. And then this is a page um, let me move this move over this way. This is a page from an encyclopedia, and it's this. This is the uh, section with the tree. It says tree up here, and and I added a little collage there. I put the pages together with um, some punched cardstock, and then in here is another collage. And then another page from the paper collection. Some more echo print. Uh, just gorgeous. And then here's another page from that book with these gorgeous looks. I think it's birch trees. And then uh, some more stenciling and a little collage. And I did some sewing also in the book. And then here's a pocket I made with a collage. And then here is two of the tags from the paper collection. This one I added a little collage on it. And they're both plain on the back to, to journal on. And then this is the center of the first signature. I stitched around this and um, this is a piece from actually it's a copy out of a business forms book that I got uh, last summer at a garage sale. There's hundreds of business forms I thought would be just awesome for journaling. And so I used that in the middle here of this signature. And then I uh, fussy cut these leaves from a piece of um, tracing paper that um, was also printed when I print that, printed this. And then I stamped uh, some leaves on some coffee stained paper. Let me get my tweezers and pull this one out a little bit here. So there's four um, torn pieces of stamped leaves in this stitched slots die from Tim Holtz. 
and then here's another quote it says overtones I heard a bird at break of day sing from the autumn leaves a song so mystical and calm so full of set, uh, certainties no man I think could listen long except upon his knees yet this is but a simple bird alone among dead trees William Alexander Percy quoted that and then this is uh, the other side of the center of the signature one of the prints from the collection and then here's another quote a nation's growth from sea to sea stirs in his heart who plants a tree and then this uh, page I did a side pocket with a, a ribbon vine and then this was from a book that I uh, found it says forest trees and uh, inside is coffee stained paper to journal on and then this is another that's the other half of that birch tree page and then here is a pocket I made with a collage on it and another ticket or tag from the paper collection and then this is the back side of that page with that gorgeous tree this is the other side of that en um, encyclopedia page and it shows um, all the layers of a tree and then uh, here's the cardstock that I punched to hold them together and then um, uh, die cut leaves I put on here and then here's the other half of the other page from that book of the trees somebody's swinging on a s tree swing and here's another side pocket with that uh, vine ribbon and here is a piece from that book page from that book and then inside is coffee stained paper and then here is another tag from the paper collection and I just um, collage that this leaf is loose so it could be glued in wherever someone might want to use it and then spot for journaling on the back and then here is a another stencil with a big journaling area and then another stenciled or uh, echo dyed page from the collection and then I covered this envelope with a piece from the echo dyed one of the echo dyed pages and another quote it says heaven and earth help him who plants a tree in his work its own reward shall be and then inside the envelope I have another piece from that tree book and let's turn it right side up there we go and then inside of course is coffee stained paper to journal on and then here is a, the other piece of that ledger paper and the other side of that um, French dictionary with the tree image on it and then this is an en or this isn't really an envelope well it is an envelope it's an envelope with a window in it that I I think I got with my bank statement actually and it's a nice big window and I thought it would be nice to use this so I put a collage here with some cheesecloth and a little piece from a foreign book and a die cut leaf and then I added a die cut leaf to this poem uh, as a tab to pull it out of the envelope and I backed the inside of the envelope with some echo dyed 
uh, paper from the paper collection and that's what I use to cover the front also and the back. So this one is A Ballad of Trees and the Master. Into the woods my master went, clean, forspent, forspent. Into the woods my master came, forspent a love and shame. But the olives, they were not blind to him. The little gray leaves were kind to him. The thorn tree had a mind to him when into the woods he came. Out of the woods my master went, and he was well content. Out of the woods my master came, content with death and shame. When death and shame would woo his last, from under the trees they drew him last. Twas on a tree they slew him last, when out of the woods he came. Sidney Lanier wrote this poem. So that fit right in perfectly in that window, in that envelope. And so then we have another page with some stenciling and another poem. The other half of that pocket in the beginning, I think it is, yep. And this is a, one of the tags from the paper collection. And then um, one of the die cut leaves that I cut. Uh, springtime in your heart. If you can feel the beauty of a tree without its leaves that wave or birds that sing. If you can close your eyes and clearly see not branches cold but sleeping signs of spring. If you can look beyond the windswept scenes of barren trees and lonely winter, wintry art, if you can view the browns and see the greens, then you are holding springtime in your heart. William Arthur Ward wrote that poem. And then this is the end of the first signature. And the beginning of the second signature is this gorgeous page from the paper collection and then inside of that is a chipboard tree that I had in my chipboard drawer and I added these two little trees here and then on this page I made a collage and I did some little bit of splattering and then here's another quote nothing is more beautiful than the love loveliness of the woods before sunrise. George Washington Carver quoted that. Here's another page from that French dictionary with an image of a tree. And then I added some packaging paper that I was, was all crinkled up and I put a little collage on there. And then here's another page with a little splatter on it and a collage of a tree. And then on this page, I took some cardstock and made a belly band. And on this, there's a quote, no doubt. When we take a look about, can we question, can we doubt God in heaven? When we see both in every autumn tree. William Arthur Ward quoted that one, or that was a quote of his. And here's another. Um tag from the paper collection with some echo dyed leaves and then I added this alteration tag with a tree sticker and and then this gorgeous tree on the back um, backed with a coffee stained paper to journal on And then here's another page from the paper collection. And on this page I added a glassine bag. And there's two tags in here, a little bit of collage on here. And there's two tags from the paper collection. 
that fit right down here in the glassine bag. And then some more stenciling, another collage of a tree. And then here is another more stenciling and another quote. Look up. Look up. There are stars for us to see, reminders of infinity. Look up. There are new leaves on the tree, reminders of eternity. Another one from William Arthur Ward. And then here is a page. Uh, from that magazine that I, or that book that I found with the trees and then um, here is a music sheet that I thought was appropriate um, of the song Autumn Leaves and another page from the paper collection and this gorgeous echo dyed paper oh, let me turn this there and then a little book that I found, What's That Tree? And here's different leaves to identify a tree. And this is the center of the second signature. And here is a poem by A. E. Hausman. Loveliest of trees, loveliest of trees, the cherry now is hung with bloom along the bough and stands about the woodland ride wearing white for Eastertide. Now of my threescore years and ten, twenty will not come again, and take from seventy sp springs a score, it only leaves me fifty more. And since to look at things in bloom, fifty sprigs a little room, about the woodlands I would go, to see the cherry hung with snow. In this one I used some um, duck cloth, I believe it's called, as a backing for this collage. And then, like I said, here is the center of the second signature. Pocket I made with this gorgeous sticker. It's a vellum sticker. And uh, this collage. And then two um, tags from the paper collection for journaling and then I just decorated this with a chipboard T for trees and then on the back another collage and then this is the other half of that what's that tree with some more identifying leaves in this uh, gorgeous picture of some trees in the background and then I uh, added an envelope with a big flap I decorated with a little leaf and then inside is another page from that tree book inside for journaling on coffee stained paper and here is some leaves to identify the tree with or the tree and then on this one it says the forest primeval this is the forest primeval the more murmuring pines and the hemlocks bearded with moss and in garments green indistinct in the twilight stand like druids of old with Voices sad and prophetic stand like harpers whore with beards that rest on their bosoms. Loud from its rocky caverns, the deep voice neighboring ocean speaks and in accents disconsolate answers the wail of the forest. This is from Evangeline, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. And there's the other half of that um, autumn leaves music paper. And then here's the other half of that page from the uh, book I found with the trees. And then here I have paper clipped in a uh, glassine bag on a page with some stenciling for journaling. And inside there's two um, 
one tag is just coffee stain paper to journal on and the other tag is what's that tree and inside is coffee stained paper and the outside is some more leaves and then on the outside of the glassine bag I added this gorgeous let me get this in here this gorgeous tree stencil or a sticker just gorgeous and then we'll tuck that back in the paper clip and then another journaling page with some stenciling gorgeous echo dyed paper from the collection and then the, uh, another page from the collection and then some splattered coffee stain paper the other half of that packaging paper and the other half of the French Dictionary and then here's another pocket with that uh, vine lace and another tag this leaf also is loose it can be used somewhere in the journal and then here's another uh, page from that sorry about the glare page from that uh, tree book and some coffee stain paper to journal on and then there's the other half of that splattered paper and here I added another quote with some line paper trees trees make our hearts happier our byways brighter our landscapes lovelier our loads much lighter William Allen or Arthur Ward and then here is another page from the paper collection and then another pocket with another envelope and another gorgeous tree sticker and inside this envelope is all these little all the leaves and all these whale what do they call them whale tabs that I didn't use in the book so those are in that envelope in this um, crocheted lace pocket and that is my design team project for um, ephemera's vintage garden I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you um, have enjoyed the book and um, would love to have you comment I can get that over that there we go uh, comment and like and subscribe if you haven't already uh, I thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day